Here's an awesome question by Darcy. What is the best way to get a client's hair to hold the curl when you are doing curls with a round brush on long hair? Darcy, thanks, and I know exactly what you're talking about. You ever work so hard with a round brush and you're putting it in and it's looking good, but then as you're working through around the head, by the time you get done, some of what you put in has collapsed. A lot of times that's because of the weight of the hair. I'm gonna recommend that you take a texture iron and number one, you just tap on it. That'll explode that cuticle a little bit, especially if it's very sleek in terms of that cuticle, okay? So that's trick number one. Number two, in answer to your specific question, see, because you could hit the texture iron, just go tap, 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 tap with the texture iron. Then you go through with your round brush Here's the trick with your round brush, okay? So I'm gonna take my product of choice on a section, okay? So I'm gonna take a section, and I'm taking my product of choice, which is Spray Starch 15, which is an awesome product to use in regards to getting some nice control and hold. That's right, I'm gonna blow dry with this. It's a thermal spray, and it's awesome when you're protecting with heat. So you're really gonna bake this in. So we're gonna come through, and we're gonna bake this in in terms of how we're working with this. So I want you to follow me here. Watch the, how I'm gonna go through, and I'm gonna use the brush, and the brush comes in. So let's say I bring my brush in, and I'm working with my blow dryer, so we do this. And you're coming through, and you're baking your heat in. Okay, and you're baking that in. Now, what I don't want you to do is just let and roll the round brush out. Here's what I want you to do. Once you bake this in, and you feel you've got it really baked in, remember, Spray Starch 15 will help to control that. Once you're here, all you're gonna do is take your brush and come through, and you're gonna unravel this way. So you unravel, 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 unravel. See, I'm going coming through. All I did was just take the brush. Now, watch what's gonna happen. I'm gonna let that sit there. So it sits and cools down in that spiral formation. It's gonna sit that way. Instead of you unrolling the brush and just letting it collapse, and you're looking and admiring the curl, I want you to unravel, go to another section. That's gonna help you. So you remember that, my dear, when you're working with your round brush. Let me allow me to demonstrate it again. Take your section, okay? You simply come through, okay? And you place your brush in. And you can see I pre-did this section for you. Once you're here, hit your round brush on that. Then come through with your heat, bake it in. Now watch the brush. Point the brush towards the client's head and come underneath and now just roll and roll and roll and roll and roll and now that sits there. So that will cool down in that formation. Hope that helps you out and thanks for the question.